Today I'm going to show you a very impressive but yet very simple trick to essentially create the best prompt for anything that you could possibly need. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to do this for creating prompts that will generate amazing looking AI videos. But the principle will be the same and the process will be similar whether it's for content, SEO, writing, AI images, whatever. We're going to make this so simple because all you're going to do is use the power of an LLM. Hey you. So in this case, you're going to use either chat, GPT, or Claude and you're going to let the AI do all of the work for you. Thanks, Eric. So the very first thing that you're going to need is basically just a doc, okay? So in this case, I'm over here in Canva. I like to use Canva Docs. It's my favorite doc writer right now because it has AI, which is magic right, developed within inside of it. So I have all of these AI resources directly from within Canva Docs. If you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend it. But it could be a doc for anything. It could be a Google Doc, Microsoft Word, whatever it is, because ultimately what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna copy and paste just information from wherever we find it. Copy, paste, and then just without any structure, without any organization, we're just gonna paste it onto a doc, and then eventually we're gonna export it as a PDF file. So that's exactly what I did on this one right here. As I scroll down, you could see all it is is just a ton of basic information and no structure or organization even to it. So I'll start from scratch and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. So let's say I want to generate some very good prompts for AI videos, but not only just prompts, I want to do a few different things. I want prompts. I want prompt generators, which are prompts that generate prompts. But then I also want a template to where I can have chat GPT or Claude give me these templates where all I need to do is just plug and play. So that's the first thing we need to do. So I'm over here in my doc right now and I'll show you the very first step. So the very first step is, is you want to have access to at least one prompt and it doesn't even have to be good. So find prompts from anywhere imaginable. So right now I am over here in my mega prompts database and this database is going to contain thousands of prompts with new prompts added daily. If you don't have access to this database, get this database plus tons of prompts. Check the links in the description because you'll have lifetime access with new prompts. So the goal of this is first just to have some very basic information. And remember, if you don't have access to my database, that's okay. Remember this, all the information information you could possibly need will actually be on my website, whether it's simplified prompts or fully developed prompt engineering generators like these on this page right here. Remember, we just want to put as much information as possible into this actual PDF. And that's what I did right here. And this is a very simple prompt generator from my database over here underneath my prompt generators category. That's where you want to start. So just find basically anything. Okay. So when it comes to AI video, just imagine, or for your specific subject, what sort of things would be helpful that you would need in a prompt. For me, for an example, I want to provide prompt engineering examples or prompt generators. I want to provide actual prompt examples, but because it is AI video related, I need to be able to know specific details and important items to use. Cameras and lenses, photographers, artists, and directors, and then specific color palettes we can use to make things really pop out. In addition to lighting and different shot types and angles, pick a few things out and then again we're going to copy and paste stuff on a pdf so what is the purpose of this pdf what we're going to do is we're going to use in this case today we'll be using claude but you can use chat gpt i'm simply going to get all this information onto a massive pdf then i'm going to just ask claude a series of questions and then instruct the llm to give me everything that i basically need now i also want to show you some very important things as well since i am focusing on specifically ai video i found some good how to and tutorials on some apps. For example, Luma AI has this whole big notion guide that's going to give me prompt examples, how to prompt, how to enhance my prompts, tons of information. I could come in here and simply copy and paste this. I can copy and paste any of these example prompts. And then I can also come over here into Runway ML's help guide as well, where this is going to provide a ton of tutorials and how to's as well. Again, I can copy and paste all of this information. Who cares if there's no organization. We just want as much info as possible on these PDFs. So as I've been doing that, I pasted some sample prompts. Okay. Here are some guidelines for video prompts directly from those two resources. I just showed you example outputs, image to video prompt engineering. Okay. All these different examples and prompts. And as I scroll down, perhaps one of the most important parts are going to be some best camera examples specifically for video. Okay. So I just copied and pasted all of these 
these different examples of cameras. And then down below here, all these different examples of lenses just on this one large massive PDF. Download this as a PDF. Once it's downloaded, here it is right now in the middle of my screen. You can see this PDF is gonna be eight pages in total. The next step, okay, we're done with our doc, is simply open up your favorite LLM. Right now I have Claude open, but I also did this in ChatGPT. And then just to show you an example, here it is in ChatGPT as well. There is the PDF I just uploaded, and now here is the one over here in Claude as well. Now, from this information, this is going to be the most important part for this specific one. Now, I know I'm going over a lot of information, but I do want to say one thing. In the description, I will include links. I'll include an example PDF, just like the one I'm sharing today, that you can get direct access to. And I'll also include the links in the description to all my prompt databases, but also the main prompt or the main instructions I'm about to give you right now to give to Claude or ChatGPT. And that is going to be this paragraph right here, okay? Here it is. Now, after you upload your PDF, this is what you're going to want to say. Take all this information in the PDF and please do a few things. Okay, basically one through three. Create a series of the most amazing prompts based off the info I gave you. Create three prompt generators and I want you to create a prompt template I can use based off this information. When doing these tasks, please use the best options, cameras, lenses, settings for each example. Okay, beautiful. Now, just like that, it did exactly what I was wanting. Okay, here is what it did in Claude. It says, I'll help you do exactly what you wanted. And now look at this. As I open it up in Claude, it's over here on the right-hand side. Okay, part one, showcase prompts. Again, here are all of the example prompts it gave me. Amazing. And the most important aspects, it's given me the camera, the lens, and then even the specific movement, depth the field and important key details that are really going to make my AI video stand out. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm going to get these three prompts, exactly what I was wanting. Now, the next thing, a prompt generator, look at this prompt generators. Again, this is beautiful because now it's going to give me a template and all I have to do is fill in the bracketed text, but that's not even the best part yet because I want something even better than this. Now, let me show you the next question I'm going to ask it. And that's going to be this right here. Okay. Based on the template you provide, please create me a full example prompt. So remember, it gave me a cool template, but I want a full example. And look at this. That's exactly what it did. I gave it my subject, which is going to be a futuristic scene. And now just like that, cinematic prompt lost in tomorrow's world. It gives me the camera, the lens, the resolution, and now my frame rate, and then the important details, environment, all of this amazing information just like this. Okay. So this is basically the full information I need, but I still need the prompt. So what I said next is based off this PDF and information, please create 10 more prompt examples specific for generating AI video. Okay. And I just gave some familiar details, basically saying camera movements need to be like the ones in Hollywood. And now it said, I'll create 10 cinematic prompts with these details. And now here we go. Check this out right here. Now this is where the magic is going to happen. The desert warrior. Okay. I have all this information. It gives me the details and the camera. And then below that the full prompt urban ballet again information with the details and camera and then the full prompt and as i scroll down you could see it it did give me 10 amazing ones just like that and then i did notice it's missing one important thing so i just said please add the actual bulleted points i.e cameras used camera movements in etc in the actual prompt and so now as i revise it even more here it is and it just gave me the bulleted points that's not exactly what i was wanting so i just said no you had it right give me back the prior 10 prompts but instead of providing the technical specs first and then the prompt, I want you to include it all in one nice seamless paragraph. Now we can see, look, this is exactly what we were wanting. The Desert Warrior, one nice long paragraph, just like this, okay? There's this one. Now I'm going to get it for these, okay? Now X this out. I said, perfect, please continue. So now when I open it up, remember I had 10, it only gave me the first two. So now here are going to be the remaining seven. And now just like that, I'm getting everything I wanted. As a quick example, I took some of these prompts and I created AI videos for them. Just look at how amazing that these all turned out.
now just like that, this portion is done. I could keep the process going as far as I want. Now quickly, before we wrap this up, I'll just simply show you what it did in ChatGPT. Now remember, in ChatGPT, I love to be able to use Canvas. And so if I open Canvas, I could see everything going on on the left and the right hand side. And now ChatGPT says right off the bat, here we go, Eric, okay? Based on the comprehensive information, here's everything, okay? So I get all these prompts and ChatGPT did it pretty easy to begin with because it gave me what I was wanting right away, right within the paragraph itself without these bulleted points. So it seemed a little bit easier to use this in ChatGPT. So on the left-hand side, you could see I basically started the process by first saying the same thing. I get my prompts. I also get my prompt generators right off the bat in ChatGPT. Here it is, a high octane action scene and then the generator input right here, okay? So these are gonna do a little bit of a better job. I think ChatGPT might win on this one. And then as I begin to scroll down, I'm gonna get my template as well, okay? My template is a little bit different, but it breaks it down into seven bulleted points. You can see all of the information. It just gives me so much over and over again. And then to make it a little bit easier, I just said, make the template easy to copy and paste with Markdown. So it did just that. And then finally I say, based on the template, okay, it gave me the template, but that's the thing that we can make this work for us even better. So it gives us the template. What if we don't want to manually type in and fill in all the bracketed text? So that's just where you say, chat GPT, listen, based on the template, okay, please create a prompt with my subject. Subject, a beautiful girl lost in the cyberpunk world. So that's the thing you want to keep in mind. Remember, we want AI to do all the work. So we're going to get the template, but instead of me manually typing in every single small detail, then just tell chat GPT, based on the template you just provided, Provided, create a prompt for me. This is my subject. And now look, it did just that. Okay. Here's number four. And it gave me the whole entire thing based off the template. It filled in all the information. And then it does the same thing by finally providing the whole entire prompt. Remember, if you get this output like this, where it's just broken down with bullet the text, what you want to say is you want to say, please provide a prompt in one single paragraph based on all your bullet points provided for my subject. Okay, so that's how you're gonna be able to get a prompt that looks like this with bulleted points into this right here, into one nice long prompt, okay? Broken down just like this with multiple prompts. Okay, now look, look how good this is. Now, based off of that, remember, I just said, condense this all down, all the bulleted points, and then just provide me one long prompt in just one paragraph, and now final outcome. Look, there it is right there. I have all of the information, the camera angles, and everything like that. Let's go ahead and now copy this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to free pick. I'm gonna go ahead and generate this image. Amazing. Look how good of a job this did. Look at that image. This is fantastic. I got my start frame as this first image. We'll add the second one as an end frame. Let's see if it can combine it and make one nice video. But if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching.